But I do think it's an interesting idea that we uh, civilizations like bicycles or can openers or shoes are inventions. They're right. systems that we have devised collectively. Uh, they're larger than shoes and can openers, but they are, they're just little things that we invented. We've decided at some point that civilizations should resemble, they should have a certain shape to them. They should, uh, because what do you do when your species becomes so successful that it's outbreeding the bears, wolves, and cats that used to eat it? What do you do? You form a civilization. You form rules. You build a big wall. Or, you know, we can't keep killing each other, gutting each other. Uh, like, like we, we came up with a very, very thin, like, kind of detente a long time ago. Like, let's, let's not hurt each other. Holy shit. Let's, let's, let's love each other. Is it the right way? Do we think of each other in the right way? If we were to go to the moon, Jeff. Do you, do you, do you think that people think of each other as people that we shouldn't hurt or use or abuse? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I mean, I think if you, if you look around at any... No, we're like, doing terrible things to each other. Yeah, yeah at yeah. all times. Yeah. But I think, I think that... And the only reason we stopped moving and we stopped hunting is because we found out that if, uh, like when you start, we started mastering metals and stone and masonry and things that we could insulate ourselves, that we didn't have to keep moving around. We could start, we could start uh, making permanent dwellings, and that gave us leisure time. Uh, and that, that created things like art and created things like textiles and stuff like that. Also, it created the idea that men uh, treated women like shit forever, like, like, like all, all kinds of other goodies. Well, it, it would – yes. Okay. So there's an interesting, uh, strange um, irony there because it would seem that mankind um, kind of is very cruel to itself – uh, when we have shit on our plate, uh, it, it always seems like there's a, there's a there's a human impulse to be inhuman to each other when we have the excuse that we have so much shit to do, and then at the same time, strangely enough, gender wise, um, it would seem like luxury begets uh, abuses. Yeah. Doesn't it well, seem well, like the more the more dessert, the more well, I mean, the, it, the more free time we get, the I, I, more sure unfair I'll, we are? I'm to... sure I'll get it like all the way wrong because like I'm only like remembering things poorly. But like when when things were like uh, hunter gatherer, they they tended to be matriarchal and tend to be feminine. And the moment that we started building permanent dwellings, uh, it was match, uh, it becomes patrilineal. Where we're, we're gonna, or if I'm going to build a thing, I'm going to pass it down to my my, my male heir. And then women get pushed to the periphery. It's almost like there's two different tracks that we that we that we feel on because the, the history of, of of this amazing country. Just to look at that as a microcosm of it, the the, the insanely poetically tragically ironic uh, fact that we built this country on slavery, which couldn't be a more inhuman act, that you take people from a different culture and you say to them, you are not human to us. We choose to use you to benefit ourselves, and we choose not to care about the uh, ha happiness and health of you and your progeny. We choose, in fact, to breed you and herd you as if you were animals, and there's no other way to put it than that. And that is the true profanity of, of, of slavery. Um, and, and to build a country on that and then to come around and go, oh, you know what? We were wrong about that. Actually, boy, is anybody feeling nauseous about this? Yeah, right around the time that industry affords us the opportunity to replace these people with machines. Yes, we all start to feel nauseous but, but, about but, but, it. But kicking and screaming. And then uh, to yeah. give those people the vote – and then also, then after that, sometime after that, to women. say to women, women yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the uh, we, you are yeah. now also allowed to participate in who's president. There's, a, there's all kinds of amazing things to, when you yeah, focus in the, on the the, uh, the, the... the great modern cities, uh, and, and I would include New York, but also like if you look like Antwerp and Brussels and like, like the, great, the great cities of Europe were built on treating people like... Uh, a resource. They, uh, 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 people were murdered by the millions to make great cities, to get, to create, uh, like uh, to get rubber, to get gold, to get um, like 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 really basic things. That's why if you go to Antwerp and it's sexy, is because of uh, just slaughter of, 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 of a thousand people. And then 
women got to vote later, which is fucking amazing. Later, the women, the the, the women that the men who were hurting each other, me, the, the men can have epiphanies about inhumanity. And the entire time they're having those epiphanies, they can go home to bed with a woman that they are actively oppressing. As a, as a, as we, we were at uh, the drawing room and you, you uh, like a couple weeks ago, and you said you were writing a thing for or Vulture magazine or whatever. I was asking you about your your twenty cultural uh-huh. like, like references. Right? And there are no women on the list. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 but you, you write a bunch of things, uh, the things that informed you. And I, I made a joke. It's like no women, huh? And you're like, oh shit, they're, they're, you're right. Like there, there were. But then you said like uh, Elaine, uh, what's her name? Elaine Morgan. Elaine Morgan, which uh, which may or may not be a cultural thing, but but it really is. But like, like what's your like, what's your stance on like how, how do you perceive femininity as in culture? Like like it, it, it's a pretty male thing. Our our show tends to end up being a lot of dudes on stage and occasionally, uh, like a woman. Well, I don't. I, that's the thing that I think is so fascinating about it is that mankind has it within him to he can take a, a, a white man can look at a, another man who has different cheekbones or different pigmentation, and he can make a he can switch some switch in his head and say. Oh well, uh, I decide to dehumanize this person. I decide to commit the 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 worst crime you can commit against another human being, which is to dehumanize them. I I will I will in fact profit off of that dehumanization. I will switch off this thing in my head. I will abuse this person. Uh, genocide. Uh, uh, j- j- just just like 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 truly the worst crime you could commit. And then in that sort of male stereotypical sense, like watching two guys fight at a bar where somebody breaks a bottle and they, they're slashing at each other and then they work out something and then they end up with their arms around each other. And then there's some weird elephant in the room where it's like, but none of you respect your women. <laughs> and the gender politics still eludes us, I think. It's a, very, it's a really weird thing because no one wants to he- – you don't want to hear about it. It makes you feel more, more – it's harder to handle than racial politics. Because it, you, you, racial politics can come down to like some platitude about like you go, oh well, yeah, I had an epiphany this morning while brushing my teeth. My friend's darker skin than me. That doesn't make him less of a person. But you can't. So there, are, there are barriers you can't get beyond, and you're thinking about women. Your mom was a woman. If you had a wiener and your mom didn't, like, you, there, there may be shit that you're carrying into your adulthood. You may be punishing women for shit that you didn't know you're, you don't know that you're doing it. Like, like they, they've, they've suffered, man. What is your relationship with women? Ah, oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> they're a groovy bunch of chicks. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's totally, totally I mean, like, you, un... Uh, you, 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 you have... <laughs> I proposed to one, yeah. I no, it's totally untapped for me. I really don't. It's it's un it's uncharted territory. Like you you, you said, I, I just watched the uh, I watched the uh, the most recent cut of the Harmon t- uh, tour documentary, and you talk about the fact that like communicating with anybody, any stranger, even your friends, like it's always a crisis. Communicating with with a stranger, extra crisis. Um, how comfortable. Are, are women a, a more strange to you than other men? Like, like, it seems like you, you certainly seem to have like a relationship with women that's like, like, a, a little more fearful. I don't know. I, 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 more fearful than what? Than a nine foot tall guy? Than a four foot tall guy? Than a guy well, in a I, wheelchair? I, than a guy with a with a with a weir- really weird hat on? Well, well yeah. To to, to 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 the extent that that the, that the, to, to create balance, the guy has to be nine feet tall. Like like. like well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Though that's that that's the that's the unexplored. Uh, question of gender it, because we we have this tendency to simultaneously we 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 talk about the human species as if it's just very neatly divided down the middle gender wise there's men and there's women and then we have all of these we have it out politically 
All right, let's, about let's, race let's and say, about let, let's say you, you know, nationality, but within all of these nations and all of these races, there's this. There, it's almost like the crime is committed and and finished and gotten away with before it's ever called to court. Because let's let's face it, we 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 all like are born into a world where we're trained to think about men and women as these. The, 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 it's, let, let's, it's, let's say you're in a writer's room and there are your equal number in terms of showrunners or whatever and there's ma- male writers and female writers do you not have an automatic opinion about like 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 what, what like or let's say there's, there's, a, there's a female writer in your writer's room do, do you carry anything into that yeah if, if if there's one female writer in a room full of uh 10 male writers i am distracted by how uh uh distracting things must be for her i get distracted by that that's why i like i would i would like it to be like half men and half women and it it rarely can be so i find myself thinking about the two women for instance season five of community we had two two female writers in the writer's room and i find myself filtering things through their experience are we getting too uh abrasive are we? Are, are uh, I know that female writers are not tender at all. That's not what I mean. Are we? But what would this look like on an affidavit later? <laughs> um, it, it 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 bears thinking, and uh, which is why the easiest thing in the world, or rather the hardest thing to achieve, but then the easiest thing to maintain is half and half represent the species in the writer's room so that like every if 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 a single individual male writer has a tendency to uh thrust his chest out and get abrasive in his language then he's got he's got a proper amount of women to contend with there was a thing i forget what year it was somebody told me a story about um i think there was a like a european cup championship in like soccer like uh, like like football proper football and it was in the Netherlands, and uh, I forget what team, what countries were playing, but I think it was held in the Netherlands. And the Dutch police did a did a genius thing because there's two countries that hate each other and tend to get pretty violent. The two the two different countries, like their fans, get a little hooligan, uh, hooligany, and uh, they t- all, all the cops they put out women uh, out in the streets, all Dutch female police. As this is a story I'm, I'm telling, like you know, like seventh hand, but like no no, no fighting because there was just a bunch of women police out there and nobody did anything no, nobody wanted to fight uh, and, and and he was like he didn't know if it was because they all wanted a picture with them because they were all like, like kind of, was, <laughs> hey we're, we're here uh, no, history but, but really it's like, it's like, no, it's like no like you, you just you just eliminated the fact that if you added more guys to that angsty like 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 wound up testosterone mm-hmm. environment if you added more guys with more agendas and more weapons on them uh, not going to help. You just you just put a bunch of women in the mix and tempers it because uh, the the idea that you have a thousand guys in the fucking building together that have like agenda is going to be a fucking bummer. And that was like the greatest moment in police force history of just just saying like let's let's just have some like some some femininity out there and cool out everything the fuck out. Yeah, but you can offend somebody like so quick by talking about that. Like 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 the idea that they have a gender identity that they that they put those women out there and that that had any kind of effect for any kind oh, of Oh, we reason. wouldn't do it here because uh, <laughs> because they, they would they would like we'd be afraid that they get punched or something terrible would happen. I think they just did it because they had the idea that it would cool everything cool everything down. I don't know. Look it up everybody. It's, 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 it's interesting to me because, like, we all know we all know for a fact. We all know for an absolute fact. Aaron, get at her. We need some women on stage. Hello. Um, I, I I was squirming backstage because the reason why I initially really fell for you was was your Dan was was your what what you what you said to me uh, uh, regarding uh, how you how you felt about women and their I said they were hot. Legs. <laughs> You you said to me that like that 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 men were so violently opposed to uh, 
funny men were opposed to to funny women because they they hated women because they were so threatened by them because it was because women were so dynamic and emotional and interesting and uh and confident and weird and and men had a hard time with that you aren't making it sound like a guy that just wanted to get laid <laughs> <laughs> I, but I do you remember that, that I conversation? Agree with all that. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I don't remember. Well, and Dan, and Dan but... said, Dan said, "Hey, I think maybe I hate women," <laughs> uh, which, which obviously I was like turned off by, but not, but, but not. <laughs> but someone saying like, "I think I hate women," but I think I hate them because I love them. I think I hate them because I want to be them because I because I admire them because I think that they're amazing and I and I. I'm upset by that. And that was like, that was, that was it. But okay. So gender is obviously the theme of the show tonight, it has which I think is important. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Great. Let's, let's, let's if we, let's if embrace. we go to the moon, okay. It's, it's easy. Not at the risk of offending any of our, uh, listeners of color. <laughs> <laughs> well, and is it gender or is it sex? I don't, uh, well, I mean, I don't know. D- Dan just made it race somehow. <laughs> but race is easy. Race is easy. Yeah, we, we, we've proven that as a, as a, as a country. Uh, what do you Give us 500 do? years, we'll figure it out. I know, I know that if you go to the moon and you want to start a new perfect civilization, I know that you make the roads straight. No, you disagree on that. You want a scenic view. You want blah, blah, blah. I'm saying well, like, on, like, on, the, like, on the moon, they're going to tend to be straight. There's less I topography. Want to do so, I want to do certain logical things if I take a group of people to the moon and I start are a Are you saying the, the roads are going to have to be straight and, and a grid the whole, all, all over the moon? Don't get too distracted by that. The, the big reveal is that Dan and I got engaged, but Jeff and Dan got married. <laughs> I'm just saying that when one fantasizes, when one expresses their, their impulse... And this is a healthy impulse. So everyone in the audience, ask yourself, what would you do if you could start from scratch? Because then you, you might even actually be able to make a couple of things happen down here. So what would you do about gender? What is it incumbent upon us? Because it's very, very easy to talk about race. Fact. Our nation was built on slavery. Fact. Fact. Most of the uh, uh, non-Caucasoid Americans, who uh, the, the African Americans, as we call them, which I think is a ridiculous phrase, the, the 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 descendants of a practice called slavery, which is not too long ago, where we built the entire country on them, and then we went, okay, we feel bad about this. Also, it's technologically appropriate. Let's. Now let's 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 weave this into society. These are these are easy facts to deal with, and you can easily deal with them. Even though you can't easily deal with them politically and economically, you can easily deal with them philosophically by saying such simple, no one can argue with them things like, ah, color. Who cares? <laughs> easy, easy peasy. So as far as gender, do you mean gender is not easy? Why is right, that? but like, what? But are you talking about the way that the gen, that the government would address gender, as far as like restrooms, kind of well, marriage well, I mean, licenses? Uh, I, mean, like, I don't do know. Mean? Yeah, there the fact you go. that like looking back for a very, very long time, and what we consider like wow, civilization, it's it's, it's been it's been gross white dudes uh, controlling shit, and uh, women are have been pushed out of all fucking conversation at all times, in, in the times when I've like. Like for instance, I've been on some uh, like on a television show where this has been run by all men, and the men on the uh, that were the writers and the producers and the, and the camera. So like, you hear arguments and you hear a bunch of fucking bullshit all day long. I've also been on shows where the front line was women. Women were the directors, camera, like first ads and stuff like that. No fucking bullshit. Communication. They all fucking dealt with stuff. There was there was no less problems and no less like stakes. They just managed to deal with it in a much cooler way. Um, I think you should involve women way more and let's, instead of letting a bunch of guys uh, like, you know, like run everything because it's gross and icky and a bunch of fucking cockfighting all the time. Uh, sure, but that would protest too much. But... Uh, I protest too much about what? Well, obviously. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, I mean no, I no. Just... I, 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 I'm not a hero for saying that. It's just ridiculous the idea that that uh, all of our statues are a bunch of a bunch of dudes. And when we ever put a woman on a coin, it's ironic. Like it's fucking hilarious. That, <laughs> uh, like uh, it's uh, we live in a, a needlessly uh, male world. It's, it's so stupid. But do you... <laughs> right, but but we but, don't. But we don't. But we, do, we do you? But we... Okay, but do you actually like? Is there okay? Fantasize in your head. All we're right. landing I'm on, on the, a unicorn. We're landing on the moon tomorrow. Right. There's okay. a rocket ship full of 100 people. Let's and assume. Unicorns. Let's assume 50 men and 50 women. Let's assume that we're splitting it down the middle. All right. Okay. I don't know if I'm making a mistake assuming that, but it's uh, 100 people, 50 men, 50 women, biologically. It should be 5149. When we're we, we are going to set up a school, we're going to teach children, we're going to, the, there's going to be a new generation after we land on the moon and we b- pitch our tents and we do our thing. The idea is that the following generation is going to have a chance of being wiped clean of all kinds of shit. Because that's all we've been trying to do down here forever. With our funerals for various words and our, 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 our letters to TV guide and our, our fucking... Like, like we, we fantasize about a clean slate. And there's no better clean slate than a colony. Where you, you just take a select group of people and you just go, okay, so... What but are we gonna What are we gonna teach really these kids the, about? These... Are we gonna outlaw gender projection? Well, that that's my question. Do you mean like sexually? It's it's fifty men and fifty women, or do you mean gender wise? It's fifty men and fifty women. Well, before we it? even get into that, you, I think you're talking about the LA perspective, where it's like are ten of these people people that are men that identify as women and blah blah blah. But but I'm saying like let's just start simple. When we're teaching them the alphabet, when we're when we're when we're giving them toys, are we are we going to commit to the idea that children need to be programmed? And are we? How do we? We know how to do that racially. We know that you just don't vaginas. make children racist. <laughs> we know that you just, just simply don't program children with racism. But we don't know yet how to not program children with gender politics. Right. We don't understand what that means. I don't understand what that means. What would you do in a neutral, sterile kind of colony? Would you – is it like, – are there, are there pitfalls that you avoid? Kids like toys. What do you – do you, do you have to give them gender, gender neutral toys? Uh, do, real do, do kids do kids start to express gender? I've I, I, I listen to stories on NPR about kids expressing their uh, their gender, and it's when it's in an ironic capacity when the kid is like they're like oh well we we wanted to support him and but he wanted to do the thing and blah 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 like 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 we don't know what what is politically correct right now do we? Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I think the r- real answer, if we were really going to the moon and we were really figuring this stuff out, I think that I would, uh, which, which I think is what most parents do is just follow whatever their kids want. I don't think that my parents, my parents were great, but I don't think that they were progressive in any way. And I know that when I was growing up, I played with, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles within a Barbie house. But with no Barbies, and would I'm cut not, off their so hair. When were you, but when were so you? So I think that, that like the, the the real answer, like if we're if we're sending everyone to the moon and it, and everyone gets a kit and it's like a bag of uh, Kit Kat bars, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> There's a bag of uh, Weetabix and uh, cucumbers and tomatoes and eggs. And then for the kids, it would just be like a burlap sack that would have Matchbox cars, Matchbox cars, but also tr- uh, treasure trolls and uh, uh, dolls. The, I mean, the, it's not the the real answer is that that like that's not that big of a deal because like every that doesn't mean that doesn't identify anyone's sexuality, like what toys you play with, but making them available to everyone. I'm sorry. 
All right. We're engaged. You can't stop it. 